context. We have called you all here to talk about the revolution in nuclear therapy. And before I speak about it, I thought a short presentation will take you through uh, where we stand with it today. Can I have the PowerPoint presentation, please? The heart. It controls the flow of blood in one direction. So the good blood from the lungs comes to the left upper chamber of the heart, and that flows through the mitral valve, and then the bottom chamber pumps it to the entire body. We have several other valves in the heart, namely four. Statistics have shown that mitral valve disease is at least two to three times more than aortic valve disease. The aortic valve is the second valve that we've all discussed with all you members of the press, where we talk about TAMI and TAMA. Even in a country like America, in one year, four million cases of mitral regurgitation are diagnosed, and only 1.5% of them are treated. So it's safe to assume that in India we at least have 4 million cases of mitral regurgitation every year. Now, this is a nice animation that helps you understand. If you look at, I wish my pointer would work, but I'm going to make do. So if you look at that valve, that is the mitral valve. And the blood normally flows from above downward. But if something goes wrong and the support of the valve tears off like that, blood starts going backward. Now what happens when blood goes backward in the heart? Two things. Since not enough blood is going forward, the patients get very tired, they can hardly walk. The remaining organs of the body, like the brain, the liver, the kidney, don't get enough blood, produce extreme fatigue. Now simultaneously, a large volume of this blood is going backward. And where does it go back to? If it doesn't go to the body, it goes back to the lungs. So this will flood the lungs with fluid and make the person feel that he is drowning in his own uh, uh, secretion. So this is what happens. So they feel uncomfortable, they can't breathe. The mitral clip is a tiny clip that is actually introduced into the body through the leg. And it is used to clip the mitral valve leaflets together. If you looked at the previous video, you remember seeing the valve that is all flopping around it. And look at this video. You can see the tube going up. It's entering the heart. And it looks over the valve from above. So this is the tube in which the microclip is introduced. And then the clip moves in. It's bent into position. It's actually opened out like a tiny little clothes clip, moved up under the valve, exactly where the leak is the most. And just pulled up and the leaflets are clipped together. Thereby getting rid of the leak and the patient improves dramatically. So the important thing is it's a mechanical solution to a mechanical problem. That is why the improvement is so dramatic. Uh, presentation? Ah. So I don't know if you all remember, we were here just three years ago when we did one of India's first few patients. Uh, she was very sick and her only interest was that she wanted to get back to playing badminton with the grandchildren. And all of you covered extensively how just three days after the procedure, she came here and played badminton with her grandchildren and she was quite good at it. So that was how we started our journey. Now during this last three to four months, which have been extenuating for all of us, for all of you, from the press, for all your families, and for all of us doctors as well, because COVID has been raging a never-ending onslaught on us through the second wave. Now even during these worst few months, we were able to take care of several really sick patients who flew in with severe heart failure. Now this was an 86 year old gentleman, diabetic and hypertensive, who had a massive heart attack, had emergency stenting. Because the heart attack, depending on which blood vessel it affects, it can affect the mitral valve. So if it is the blood vessel supplying the mitral valve, that area dies off and the mitral valve doesn't work well. He developed a severe leak of the mitral valve they could not remove the ventilator, they could not remove the balloon pump, and at this point of time his BP was 80 systolic and the family shifted by ambulance to our hospital. 
Can you see that bright blue color on top? That bright blue color on top is the blood going back up. That is what is called mitral regurgitation. So, and you can see the tail palms open in the second picture there. And then, look at this, you can see the tail palms. And you can see how the clip catches the two leaflets. And then the clip is released in place. And look at this, the severe leak on the left and no leak at all on the right. So just imagine, the patient comes in because of the severe leak, blood going backward, filling his lungs, unable to maintain pressure. The minute you clip him, there's no leak. Within hours he improves. This is the pressure inside the heart before the procedure, that is after the procedure. This is in 12 hours post procedure. And after one week of being in a wedding with his great grandchild, just one week later. This is how incredible this therapy is. 72 year old heart attack in 2005, very poor heart function, uh, severe heart failure on multiple medications. He too was advised a heart transplant. But as COVID was raging, hearts were rare, uh, supply chains were broken, patient became sicker and sicker, mitral leak, mitral leak increased, they could not maintain him on medication anymore. So their family decided that they would come to Apollo. They called an air ambulance. The first air ambulance refused to take him, saying he was too sick. So the family spoke to me. I said, don't worry, let's wait for a second one. They managed to pull a few strings, get on a second air ambulance. And by the time he reached us, his kidney was shutting down, his liver was shutting down, and his entire body was starving of blood. You can, I know how I can see, and you might find it difficult to see, so you just have to take my word for it. But the heart was really dilated and there was not much function. Can you see the bright blue jets on top? By now I've explained that these bright blue jets are the leak that's going up instead of coming downward into the heart. So that is the 3D echo where we looked at the heart, we went ahead, we clipped it. After one clip, we realized that the leak had got better, the patient was behaving better. Literally a crashing patient who had come in by air ambulance, suddenly the blood pressure were better. So decided that let's do everything we can, put a second clip right next to the first. That big hole is not supposed to be there. And once the two clips are placed, you can see it beautifully when the valve is closing, you can see a beautiful line of the valve closing. It's become two holes. This huge leak becomes nothing. The high pressures became nothing. And this is a, something that cardiac anesthetists use, it's called blood gas analysis, which shows how much blood is going to the rest of the body and how sick the patient is. So you can see a lactate of 9.6 is down to 1.3, and look at the monitor. Now blood pressure is 130, 70, saturation is 100, heart rate is 69. Even if you look at my hospital chart, I took the liberty of reading this, you can see the kidney function from 2.5 has gone all the way down to normal, liver enzymes went back to normal, this is him just 12 hours post-procedure, and that is him 36 hours post-procedure. And now, for the reason why I have really called, we have really called all of you here, I know that you have seen some really tough cases that we managed to do during the peak of the pandemic here. And we were extremely blessed to get all these cases in and out of hospital without any problem even during COVID because of a very, very efficient bio bubble that separated all these patients. Now when you talk about comorbidities, you can't get patients sicker than these. But we still managed to get all of them in and all of them out of hospital because of the infection control protocols we have. But none of these cases, while they're all special to me, are as remarkable as the patient I've brought you from here today. A 41-year-old farmer was doing extremely well uh, I am sorry I'm talking about Kamesh about a third person who's sitting right here with us. But a 41-year-old farmer who's doing, who was doing extremely well until early of this year, suddenly became short of breath and went to a hospital in Vijayawada. When they examined him, they said that his heart was very weak and he had to rest and they sent him home. He repeatedly kept getting sick until he could not be managed at home and had to be hospitalized. After spending one month in hospitals in Vijayawada, they shifted him to Hyderabad for better care. 
Even in Hyderabad, they said the heart function had come down very badly. It was only 15% and that he needed to be on a heart transplant list. While he was waiting for his heart, his heart failure became so bad that they could not maintain his blood pressure. And as a last desperate attempt, the family flew him down to Chennai. His heart muscle was so weak that even before we accepted him, we were not sure that we could help him. But the family said, all we want you to do is try. All we want to know is that we did everything possible to make him all right. So we went ahead. About five days back, we performed the mitotrip on him. In just five days, he's gotten off the ventilator, which was almost a day after the procedure. In just five days, he's able to sit up. He's able to walk here without a wheelchair so that he can be present among all of you. And his heart function has gone from 15% to 30%. Now, I am hopeful that with careful medical attention, he might even not require a heart transplant. Now, the reason why we had a detailed discussion with our surgeons and the remaining groups of doctors and decided to do the therapy is that it was a compassionate process. We just wanted to do a bridge to heart transplant. We thought that medication is not holding him. We just clip him so he becomes a little stable till he receives the heart. Even we were pleasantly surprised as to how well he's improved. So he's here. With this, I say thank you so much and uh, hand it over to the MC. For us, because in healthcare, we're actually in the business of caring and saving lives. And for us, the success is the patient's trust and the patients who get well and go home to a normal life. And as a pioneering organization, I think Apollo has consistently and with focus done only this and nothing else. And for us, uh, this is really the DNA of our existence. And such efforts would not have been possible unless we had champions like Dr. Sai Satish who keeps pushing the boundaries of medicine and who keeps pushing the boundaries of what the responsibility of giving back to patients are. And for that, we're thankful that the organization can support a doctor's vision, a clinical vision, and bring the best in class which is available globally to our country and set the standards for better outcomes, uh, set the goalposts much further away so that we can continue to do more. And more than anything else, become part of an, a global network where research, innovation, and technology becomes the mainstay of an organization. And I think that is why Apollo is probably the greatest place to be in, whether it's for people like all of us who work there, or for people like the patients who come there with a lot of hope and trust. So for the members of the media, thank you so much for being with us today. We have many milestones at Apollo, and we're always you know, sharing that with you. Not because we want to say we're the greatest and the best, but because we want to say that such things are possible in our country and we're proud to be Indians because it truly sets India on a global platform. We were the first in Asia to perform four mitral clip procedures in a day and we were all part of that story. And we've surpassed Japan, where only three mitral clip procedures were performed in a day. So, you know, we already set the, the standards so high. We also have taken a leadership position with over 70% of the mitral clips in India being performed at the Apollo hospitals and in Chennai. So, now Chennai country and the rest of the world has to know that Chennai is a great place to be in for medical, um, medical work, medical technology, and of course for healthcare tourism because you know the other people should come to to Chennai for that. So for that, I'm truly proud. Over the past 15 months, COVID has been the biggest concern, not only in India but all over the world. But Apollo has been at the forefront. We can to help during the crisis, whether it's treating patients with the best protocols which are available wor worldwide, getting the best medications which are, again, sometimes not available in our country but importing them for people who need it, setting vaccination programs in such a way that we're actually the largest vaccinators in the private sector. But while we're doing this on one side, 
During the COVID crisis, uh, people are afraid to come to a hospital and the clinicians are also afraid because they're human beings after all, but never in a hospital like ours. And during the COVID crisis, for us to be able to achieve these kind of numbers of life-saving procedures, because you understood and you saw that if we did not intervene at this time with doctors like Sai Satish did not go into the cath lab and do what they had to do, then lives could have been lost. So I think that is the kind of credit which the clinicians of Apollo should be getting. Again, for all of us who are here, India is home to 25% of the world's coronary heart disease, and that is a huge burden. And 120 million hypertensives, and a large number of individuals with rheumatic heart disease. So unless we find ways to intervene and unless we find ways to help all these people, I don't think we will be doing our duty as healthcare providers. And that is why Apollo calls and invites every time we do something like this, all of you to be part of the story, part of the journey. Because unless we communicate and let people know that these options are, are available to them, we would not be doing work as responsible citizens. And, it, and we look and we need to save lives. And while we are doing that, I think we want you to be part of that journey. And that is why we are meeting here today, to celebrate lives, to celebrate a life of you know, patients like who, who you will be seeing. And also to celebrate the fact that you know we can actually achieve things when we set out to do it. So thank you all for being with us, for, uh, with us today. Uh, thank you, Dr. Sai Satish and your team for delivering consistently on the highest levels and the highest standards of care. And let me assure you that the organization will always be there in this journey because we don't do it for ourselves. We do it for the people who come to us with so much of hope and trust. Thank you. Namaste and Jane. Can I have a chair, please? Can I request our vice chair also to join us on the stage, please? Ma'am? Actually, I wonder, Mother, when you put a minute in a basic way, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, English is full of basic, you know, you know, you know, you know, so, now, we have a quick Tamil American. Now, we have actually a Andhra Lund. Severe heart failure. We have to go to hospital. We have to go to Vijayvada. 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 We have to go to Where your question comes into play. 
Patient has a heart attack. The heart doesn't squeeze. It gets damaged. It becomes thin. It becomes scarred. Once it becomes thin, it starts ballooning out. See, if it's thick and muscular, it stays tight. If it's thin and damaged, it balloons out. Now, as it balloons out, what happens to the valve? It starts enlarging. When the valve enlarges, the leaflets don't touch. And then you have the leak. So he had a bit of both. He had a tear in the valve leaflet. Because it was ignored over a long time, the tear enlarged the heart. The heart as it enlarged, the leak increased. So it is a vicious cycle. The leak enlarged the heart, the enlarged heart increased the leak. Until he got very sick. Now, initially when we attempted him, it was just a bridge to fix him till he gets a heart. But by God's grace, looking at how well he's improved, it's only five days since he has spent 90 days in hospitals and ventilators and he's able to walk to us. So that is how incredible this therapy is. He came to us with a heart function of 15% and I had kept him in hospital because I want to discharge him tomorrow because today might be a strain. He was all excited to come here. Uh, he woke up at uh, 5 o'clock. I told him why did he wake up at 5 o'clock. So he said I couldn't sleep. We didn't want to bring our other 80, 85 year olds because what of us said is that it's COVID time. But he said, no, I want to come. And I think this is the kind of confidence that he also needs to go back home to know that I'm all right. Uh, to answer your question on his heart function, his heart function was 15% when we started. Today it's only 33%. It's only five days. So I'm very hopeful that he will get off the transplants. So, actually, I'm going to sick cases. You know, the patient heart transplant avoid it. But yet the Nalo, you were one of the number special cases on us. Yana, Napa to advise him. Then the Chita Pasaga, one may part of the other heart transplanted. Covid in the Nerata Yapri one of the diarrhea on the Yakuti to the Tanga. Kuti to the dead, Nanga Pana or Nay, you know, improvement your Sripa Pata, Yenana Cold and Dow, Yenana Kashkar Dow, Yirkana of a hospital Marona, Nevaka Nabika, doctors are Nevaka Nabika. Then the Patina. In the hospital, in the I know the other bed, active beds. One time, the peak of the COVID level, I decide, no, in the time that I have to in the I have to go to the hospital. I have to go to the hospital. I have to go to the hospital. I have to the hospital. I have to go to the hospital. I have COVID cases are very difficult to get the non-COVID cases in the time of the hospital and the vital clip is done COVID is not a big So, I am extremely happy that in our environment, we are going to get the money. So, that is an important point. That's it. Thank you. I am a doctor. I am a doctor. I am a doctor. I am a doctor. ना प्रोडेक्ट को रखना उसका रहता है। माली आंध्रा विजयवाड़ा देख रहा हूँ कच्चे ना पलेट को वो को कहने में शायद लोगों ने जान चलो बोल कहना मंदे मेरा पहले ही मारा था। ना प्रदर्शन पार्टी ये से एग्रीकल्चर के आसपास कर रहे हैं। सदम का एक दिन तो एक नाइट टाइम काफ़ रहा हूँ। पगले हम आमर गए ஏன்னாம்ம்ம்ம்ம்ம்ம்ம்ம்ம்ம்ம்ம்ம்ம்ம்ம்ம்ம்ம்ம்ம்ம்ம்ம்ம்ம்ம்ம்ம்ம்
தமிழர் சொல்லிருக்கேன் ரொம்ப கஷ்டப்பட்டாரு விஜயமானவர் அவர் விவசாயி ஆனா ரொம்ப மூச்சு அடிச்சிருச்சு அங்க ஹாஸ்பிட்டல் போனா வேலை ரொம்ப லீக் ஆயிடுச்சு ரொம்ப லேட்டா வந்துட்டீங்கன்னா ஒண்ணுமே பண்ண முடியாது நீங்க கூட்டிட்டு போங்க இங்க எங்களால எந்த ட்ரீட்மெண்ட் கொடுக்க முடியாது சொல்லிருக்காங்க அதுக்கப்புறம் ஹாஸ்பிட்டல் ஹாஸ்பிட்டல் ஹைட்ரோகாண்ட் எடுத்துருக்காங்க டிரான்ஸ்பிளாண்டா பண்ணணும் ஐசியு உள்ள வெளியில வச்சு ஒண்ணும் பண்ண முடியாது அந்த டைம்ல வந்து என்னோட இன்டர்வியூ பார்த்துட்டு என்னை கூப்பிட்டாங்க என்னோட தம்பி மாதிரி பாத்துக்கிட்டு நீ வந்துருச்சுன்னா எதுவும் யோசிக்காத ஒரு கூட்டிட்டு வா டைம் வேஸ்ட் பண்ணாது ஏன்னா ஒரு நாற்பது வயசு பையனுக்கு இந்த மாதிரி ஹார்ட் ஃபெயில் சொல்றப்ப நம்மளால எதுவுமே யோசிக்க முடியல முதல்ல வந்து அதுக்கப்புறம் பாத்துக்கலாம் டாக்டர் கார்டு செலுத்தின வெண்டனே మాకు ఎప్పుడు చెన్నై ఎప్పుడు రాలేదు లైఫ్ లో మాకు తెలియదు డైరెక్ట్ గా ఫైల్ లేర్ వచ్చేసాం రాగానే డాక్టర్ గారు ఆల్ లో ఒకటి ఒక ఫోన్ మాట్లాడుతున్నారు సార్ ని వెళ్లి విస్టే గానే దగ్గరికి వచ్చి అంటే మా వచ్చేసారా నీకేం పర్లేదు నేను ఉన్నా మీ ఫ్రెండ్ అని డాక్టర్ తీసుకెళ్లి చక్కగా మామని ఒక దేవుడి లాగా ఆదరించి నీకేం పర్లేదు నేను చూసుకుంటాను అని చెప్పి డైరెక్ట్ చెప్పి ట్రీట్మెంట్ ఇచ్చి చక్కగా క్లిక్ చేసి బయటకు వచ్చి సక్సెస్ అయితే పర్ఫెక్ట్ గా మీ వాడికి తిరిగి లేదని చెప్తారు ఇంప్రూవ్మెంట్ కూడా బాగా అవుతుంది వాడు మూడు నెలల్లో లేచి నడుస్తాడు అని మాకు చెప్పగానే మాకు చాలా సంతోషం అనిపించింది మా అమ్మ నాన్న ఆయనకి మొదటి జన్మ ఇస్తే డాక్టర్ సాయి గారు మాకు వాడికి పునర్జన్మ ఇచ్చారని ఎప్పటికీ మేము ఇంట్లో అందరం నమ్ముతున్నాము ఇది ఎన్ని జన్మలు ఇంతనా డాక్టర్ సాయి గారు మనం తీర్చుకోలేమని మీ అందరి ముందు అందరి ముందు
move it down and correctly clip the value leaflets. This height is about 3.5 centimeters. Now you have to understand that we're doing all these movements in a 2 centimeter by 3 centimeter cube. That is the size of the left upper chamber. In that chamber, we are moving the clip, we are bending it, we are looking in three dimensional echo, making sure we are not touching the walls, going correctly over the leak and clipping. So if the chamber is small and the height is not enough, it's difficult to do. The next contraindication is infection. If the valve is infected, I can't put a clip. Because if I put a clip, the clip will get infected. So the, if the valve is infected, the only option is antibiotics, treat the infection, cut the valve out and put a new valve. Right? Even now in hospital, I have four patients who came for microclip who we found had infection, who are settling down, who are excellent surgical team will be operating on. That's the second contraindication. The third contraindication is calcium. If the tip of the valve has been damaged for a long time and has bone-like deposits, then the clip won't hold it. So this is the third contraindication. The fourth contraindication is that if the valve area, the valve area is supposed to be at least four centimeters square. In some people with small hearts, if it's small, then if I go put a clip, the value area becomes even smaller and I make a mitral weak, a mitral narrowing. So all these are very technical points and we have a detailed protocol. Every patient is assessed for each of these points and only the suitable ones are taken. Now, I'm almost scared to say this, but every single patient we have done over the last three years was in class 4 heart failure and until today hasn't had one heart failure related hospitalization. Every single patient who we have done in the last three years is well with their families till today. The oldest is 89, the youngest is my, this baby, 41. So we have been extremely fortunate and blessed. And the reason why we have this kind of outcome is because of the stringent screening for these cases. Our cardiac surgeons look at it, our cardiac anesthetists look at it, our echocardiologists look at it, clinical cardiologists look at it, I look at it, and when we all say yes, you will benefit, then we take it. So, any possible complications? Same procedure. If you see, the clip was first used in human in 2003. It became first available commercially in Europe in 2013. It became first available commercially in the United States in 2018. And one year later, we at Apollo Chennai started giving this therapy to patients in 2019. More than 100,000 patients have been treated with the microchip till today, globally. And it has excellent safety profile because it is so recapturable, maneuverable, but there will be complications. And if there are complications, we have to deal with it. Okay, Kameshwar Rao. And I'm going to ask you all to bear with me and I'm not going to allow you to interact with him because like I said, he's too precious a baby for me. I've made sure that he stays far because of the COVID. I'm going to send him back as quickly as possible, but I'll be happy to take whatever questions you want regarding him. One more question is from Kolkata Media. So is this facility available across Pan India, Pan Apollo? Uh, not yet. Not yet, but very soon it will be. We always like to think Apollo is one family. If one hospital can do it, anybody can do it. It is imported. It's completely made outside India and it's imported en masse into India. So now that my clip is commercially available in India, even at Apollo now, I have stock for nine clips. So there was a time in 2019 where I had to ask for clips and I'd wait for two, three weeks for the clips to come in. But we managed to speak with the drug company and said that since most of the patients are so sick, uh, we want to stock the clips in our hospital and since we do the most volume, we have clips on stock. So if the patient comes in with heart failure this evening, tomorrow morning I can clip it. There's no wait time. It's, there's a big hole, right? And when the gap is wide, I need a bigger clip. The smaller clip is 15 millimeters, the bigger clip is 18 millimeters. Don't say, you know, Dr. millimeter For a heart that size, for a man that size, it matters. What is the cost of this entire procedure? The cost of the clip is around 25 lakh rupees. Okay. Uh, the cost of the procedure at Apollo Hospital is an average of 27 to 28. That's it. 
because this is a life-saving therapy for the forsaken. The management has been extremely uh, considerate in keeping the cost as low as possible to help as many people as possible. So majority goes to the clip cost and the short amount, the remaining two, two and a half to three lakhs is because the patients all go home in two to three days. We are here and every technology is now coming to India sooner and sooner. We started the clips in 2018, by early 2019 we did our first clip. So there is no lapse in technology or therapy between India and the rest of the world now. The gap has been closing rapidly, Mr. Dhananjaya, and I hope that there will be a time where India will get it first. So why are people in rush to London or America? That was my question to the doctor of late Ramdulas Aslan. I, I don't know if I, I, I'll fill the shoes of the doctor of late, Dr. Ramdulas Aslan, to answer that question appropriately, but I think a lot of us are still fascinated with the West. It might not be anything to do with the technical progress, but you know, if you go to some of the best hospitals in the world, you'll be pleasantly surprised to see the leading valve repair surgeon as an Indian. Yeah. Cleveland Clinic, there's Raj Makkar, Belfast, there's Ganesh Manohara, New York Presbyterian, there's Sushil Kodali, they are all Indian, right? So they've done well yeah. for all for changing. So the last, your last word, we are really world class. Yeah, I'm just going to, uh, yes ma'am. Sai, you should uh, tell every Indian to become Atman and Bar. <laughs> You know, it should not just be a word, it should be something we should be proud of and practice. Otherwise, just like the British and the Mughals and everyone took over India, somebody else will take it over. It's the right time to think about it. <laughs> I think that's that's said in a Thank simple you. nutshell. Thank you very much for the last word on hard solutions. That we are world class now, really. Thank you, Mr. Sanandaya. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. okay. Like ma'am so aptly put it, uh, the reason we have you here is so that the rest of India knows that we are here at the helm and cutting edge of medical technology. Even under duress, we are performing cutting edge procedures on very sick patients and getting them home safely. We are adapting, times are tough, we are evolving, and we are trying to get better than we were. And all of you need to know that here in Chennai is where it's happening. So thank you all for coming here. Hindi mein kuch bolna hai, Hindi mein Chennai mein Hindi mein. I was showing you the patient, Mr. Kameshwar Rao, who was a 41-year-old farmer who had severe heart failure, very low heart function of only 15%, was shifted from hospital to hospital. And he has been on ventilators and uh, ICUs for over 90 days, for over three months, and finally came to us. When we looked at him, we found out that his heart muscle had still some reserve, and the mitral leak was so severe that it could be the major component that's making him sick. So after a detailed heart team discussion, we decided to use a new procedure called the mitral clip, even though he's 41 because the volumes were too big, no surgeon wanted to operate. Uh, he was not anywhere close to getting a heart for a transplant. So we thought if we clip his mitral valve, he will have a bridge, like some space before the heart transplant. But even within five days after the clip, his heart function from 15 has come to 35. He's able to walk and come after 90 days in hospitals and ICUs and ventilator, he was able to walk and come for the press meet today. So this is incredible therapy. And uh, thank you all for coming here to cover this. First of all, you know, Dr. Sai Satish, Dr. Apollo Hospital Slimke. Actually, I want to know that I am going to cook it. 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 So, the hospital is going to go to the hospital and the mitral valve is going to go to the hospital. The heart is going to go to the hospital and the model valve is going to go to the hospital. This leakage is going to go to the hospital. This leakage is going to go to the hospital and the heart is going to go to the hospital. This leakage is going to go to the hospital and the leakage is going to go to the hospital. 
இந்த டைமில் வந்து ஒரு விஜயவாடலேருந்து ஹைதராபாத் போய் நிறைய ஹாஸ்பிட்டல்ஸ் போயிட்டாரு எல்லாமே சொல்லிட்டாங்க எதுவுமே பண்ண முடியாது ரொம்ப லேட்டாக வந்துட்டீங்க உங்களுக்கு ஹார்ட்டை டிரான்ஸ்பிளான் தான் பண்ணணும் பட் ஹார்ட் டிரான்ஸ்பிளான் பண்ணணும்னா ரெடியாக ஹார்ட்டும் கிடைக்கல ரெண்டாவது ஐசியூவில் அவ்வளோ வைக்கவும் முடியல ஏன்னா ரொம்ப ரொம்ப சிக்க ஆகிட்டார் நிறைய மருந்து கொடுத்து வெண்டிலேட்டர் கொடுத்து கூட பிபி தாங்கலை இந்த நேரத்தில் அவங்க வந்து நம்மளை பற்றி கேள்விப்பட்டு இங்கே நேராக அப்போலோ ஹாஸ்பிட்டல் வந்துட்டாங்க இங்கே வந்த உடனே எங்களோட டீம் எங்களோட சர்ஜிக்கல் டீம் எங்களோட எக்கோ டீம் நாங்கள்லாம் உட்காந்து பேசி நாங்கள் நினச்சோம் பாரு மசில் நல்லா தான் இருக்குது ஆனால் ரொம்ப ஊதி போயிருக்கு ஒரு வேலை இந்த மைட்ரல் லீக்கை நம்ம குறைச்சி பண்ணால் அவர் கொஞ்சம் செட்டில் ஆகிடுவார் அப்போ ஹார்ட் டிரான்ஸ்பிளான்ட்டுக்காக வெயிட் பண்ணலான்னு நாங்கள் நினச்சோம் பட் நம்ம அவர் கொஞ்சம் கொஞ்சம் போக போக பார்த்தா அவரோட இம்ப்ரூவ்மெண்ட் அவ்வளோ நல்லா இருந்துச்சு இப்போ பார்த்தீங்கன்னா நாங்கள் கிளிப்பு போட்டு அஞ்சே அஞ்சு நாள் தான் ஆகுது இன்றைக்கி நடந்து வந்திருக்காரு உங்கள் மீட்டிங்கு தொண்ணூறு நாள் ஐசியூஸில் இருந்துட்டு இன்றைக்கி உங்கள் மீட்டிங்கு நடந்து வந்திருக்காரு அவரோட ஹார்ட் ஃபங்க்ஷன் பதினஞ்சுலேருந்து முப்பத்தஞ்சு ஆகிடுச்சு நல்ல இம்ப்ரூவ்மெண்ட் இருக்குது இப்போ நான் கடவுளை என்ன வேண்டிக்கிறேன்னா இன்னும் ஒரு த்ரீ மந்த்ஸில் அவருக்கு ஹார்ட் டிரான்ஸ்பிளான்ட்டே தேவைப்படக்கூடாது மீஷ்வாதா இந்த ட்ரீட்மெண்ட் வந்து ஃபஸ்ட் டைம் அப்போலோவில் பண்ணியிருக்கீங்க இல்லையா ஆமாம் ஃபஸ்ட் டைம் வந்து தொண்ணூற்று ரெண்டாயிரத்தி டூ ஜீரோ ஒன் நைன் பண்ணோம் அதுக்கப்புறம் வந்து மூணு வருஷமா பண்ணிட்டு ஒரு கேஸ் தான் டெல்லியில இருந்து பூனேல இருந்து ஆந்திரா இருந்து இந்தியாவில இருந்து எந்தெந்த ஸ்டேட் இருக்கோ அந்தந்த ஸ்டேட்ல இருந்து மோஸ்ட்லி வந்து ரொம்ப சிக்கா ஆம்புலன்ஸ்லயோ ஸ்பெஷல் ஃபிளைட்லயோ வந்திருக்காங்க வந்து எல்லா பேஷண்ட்ஸ் நல்லா ட்ரீட்மெண்ட் எடுத்துட்டு வீட்டுக்கு போய் சேர்ந்துருக்காங்க இது வரைக்கும் எல்லா பேஷண்ட் நல்லா இருக்கு எங்கள் அம்பாய் பார்ப்போம் ஒரு பேத விவசாயி அத்தனைக்கு ஜான்வரிலோ இயரும் ஹார்ட் வச்சு சாலா செடி போயிருந்து ஏன் செயின் மாதிரும் செப்பாரு ஊர் ஊர் திரியாடும் ஐசியூ ஐசியூ உண்ணாடும் ஆல்மோஸ்ட் த்ரீ மந்த்ஸ் வச்சு ஐசியூவில் உண்டேசி லாஸ்ட்டில் செப்பே சார் இங்கே ஏன் செயின் மாதிரும் நீங்கள் டைம் ஹார்ட் திறக்கே மாதிரி தெரியலேது பிபி கூட மனிச்சு மெயின்டைன் செயின் மாதிரிதுன்னு செப்பே அவசரானிக்கு அத்தனும் மல் இக்கட அப்பல்லோல் வச்சு சேராடு அப்பல்லோல் வச்சுருந்தே மேம் அந்தரும் அத்தனை சூசாமு சூசி டெஃபினட்டுக்கு ஈ மைட்ரா கிளிப்தோ அத்தனைக்கு பெனிஃபிட் அவுத்தது நீ அனுமானத்தோ மேம் கிளிப் சேசாம் மை கிளிப் சேசி ரெண்டு மூணு ரோஜில் நே அந்த இம்ப்ரூவ்மெண்ட் உடைந்தி பதினைந்து பர்சன்ட் ஹார்ட் ஃபங்க்ஷன் இப்போ வச்சு முப்பை ஐந்து பர்சன்ட் வச்சு மைட்ரா கிளிப் சேசி ஐந்து ரோஜுல்லோ அது மீரே சூசாரு நேற்றுக்கு நடிச்சு ப்ரெஸ் மீட்டுக்கு வச்சு நிம்மதிகா ஆக்சிஜன் லேக்கண்டா மீதோ அண்ணி மாட்லாடி ஃபோட்டோவில் எத்தி இப்படி இன்றைக்கு எழுத்துனாடும் நேற்றுக்கு சாயந்தரம் நாக்கே மனமான மண்டே ஒக 3 मंथ्सல சூஸ்தே ஹார்ட் இன்கா இம்ப்ரூவ் ஆகும் தடி அதனைக்கு டிரான்ஸ்பிளான்ட் அவசரம் லேக்கண்ட தப்பிச்சு கூடாது நான் மாட்டேன் थैंक यू